Hey everyone, welcome back to Gun Frontline. Jay here with another review. Today I'm reviewing Batman number 51. The title of this issue is Gotham Is. It is written by Scott Snyder, pencils by Greg Capullo, inks by Danny Mickey, colors by FCO Placencia, and letters by Steve Wands. When Gotham has a blackout, Batman goes on patrol to find the cause and protect his city. What he finds is that because of him, the city is better than it has been in a long time. The people have learned to be stronger because of Batman and take care of themselves. But that doesn't change that at the heart of Gotham is still a dangerous place and it needs Batman watching over it. This is Scott Snyder's last issue of Batman and in my opinion, he has saved the best for last. This is a single one-shot story but it encompasses Snyder's full tenure as writer on Batman. Snyder hits all the emotional beats here, selling me on every character we see, how much the, he loves <clears throat> each and every one of them, and it's just a few pages or if it's just a few panels from the classic rogues to the court of owls to the joker, but my absolute favorite two are Commissioner Gordon and Alfred Pennyworth, the two men who fill the parental role in Batman's life. Snyder goes back to their core roots and in just a few pages really knocks it out of the ballpark, encompassing their full emotional connection to Bruce Wayne and Batman, respectively. I give the story five stars. Like Snyder, Capullo has saved the best for last. The way he uses the shadows here and the panel layouts to really transition from scene to scene. The whole art team did an amazing job here. It all seemed so organic and fluid, flowing from one to the next. It was like dancing art on my in my book. They used the shadows so perfectly that when we saw Gordon's scene where he was bathed in shadows, he just still got that emotional beat from him with his expressions. And Capullo done that by playing off the shadows, and that is true mastery. But there were some scenes here that we got to see characters out of shadow, and Capullo delivered there as well. Most effectively for me was Alfred in the cave. <clears throat> as him and Bruce had the, that back and forth exchange over his hand and the expressions on Alfred's face really sells the whole scene for me. I give the art five stars. Overall, this was truly Snyder and Capullo's opus, a masterpiece a single issue that told a very simple yet very expansive, expansive story that encompassed their entire run on the book. It felt like a goodbye while also feeling like a hello. This is the single best issue of Batman I have read in years. And there wasn't any deaths, any big fights, no drama, just a simple story of the difference one man can make in this world. With the story getting 5 stars and yard getting 5 stars, I give this an overall of 5 stars and I highly recommend picking up this issue. Even if you have never read Batman before, pick it up. It lets you know what Gotham is um, and what Batman is. Batman is Gotham, Gotham is Batman. Well, those are my thoughts. Now I want to know yours in the comments below. Also, like this video, subscribe to Comic Frontline, check out and subscribe to my channel, The Comic Book Theater. Check out ComicFrontline.com, the site, for all the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews, along with fun, unique features with daily updates. And don't forget to like and follow me, The Comic Book Theater, Media Manus, and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and download Frontline Live every week on iTunes for free. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.